you know, patient quality, but especially patient safety are our are, are hospital's uh, highest priority. Um, when our patients come to us and trust us with their lives, with the lives of their um, their loved ones, you know, they, they rightfully expect that they're going to be safe uh, in our care. Our, um, our journey uh, with higher reliability um, dates back uh, more than, than 10 years, and it really is a um, sort of an overarching uh, framework of how we think about uh, the care that all of us deliver to, to our patients. And I would say that that, um, that framework has allowed us to achieve the A rating with LeapFrog uh, in the first place, and also has, I think, been a big part of why we're able to maintain that status. Um, we have in, um, intentionally created something we call equity-informed high reliability so that we've also, um, again, be built into the system of analysis questions about disparities of care, questions about how we've intentionally designed um, hospital systems, and um, trying to look at those with a critical eye. The best part of working here is that we have a strong team, and we have absolutely strong support um, uh, from our leadership team uh, around this work and um, uh, willingness to, to be curious and to be transparent about um, the things that aren't going to plan and, um, and then to roll up our sleeves and do the work. Uh, I think that high reliability is really part of our infrastructure. It, it's, it's really uh, no different than you know, the plumbing or the electricity um, that, uh, that helps power our hospital. It's just, we just, uh, it's just part of how we, we do our work now. The pandemic really challenged healthcare in a way that perhaps nothing else has, certainly in recent memory. And um, I think this is when the true test of some of the system design of a hospital helps support what becomes um, sort of lightning speed change and evolution. Having built in structures that allow you to pull uh, the best evidence-based practice, even as that itself is evolving and iterating, um, uh, obviously is a key to creating the safest possible uh, structure to, to care for patients. And as David said, I think having hardwired things like safety walk rounds and infection control rounding, um, having a, um, a safe culture that allows people to report without fear of retribution, means that everybody use the safety reporting system to raise any number of concerns or questions about um, uh, how we were responding, about PPE, about um, visitors, just any number of questions that really allowed us to think critically and pivot quickly. Patient safety can't take place without the workforce feeling safe. And so, um, the, those foundational pieces of making sure that the workforce um, was able to feel um, emotionally safe and physically safe, again, is hardwired into the DNA of how we're doing business.